Hey guys, it's YouTube Halion. Before we get started on today's video, I just want to tell you about the new membership program we have here on YouTube. It allows you to subscribe and directly support me through YouTube for $2.99 a month. You get access to emotes and comments, and you get badges based on how many months that you've been a member. And you get priority reply in comments if you'd like to leave comments for me, which you should. Uh, so if you're interested in just helping support the channel and support me and allow me to keep doing this for a long time, go ahead and join up if you don't mind. Otherwise, no worries. Enjoy the content. No pressure there. And uh, that's it. Enjoy the video, and I'll check you guys later. And subscribe if you haven't already, would you? All right, guys. I'll see you later. Thanks. What's up, everybody? It's Halion, and I'm back with a new game for you called Space Scavenger. All I've done is play the tutorial. Pretty straightforward. It was like a 45 second tutorial. I like that. It wasn't too complex or anything. It's supposed to be a roguelike space exploration building game. Building being tacked on at the end there. You know, you use a spaceship, you use WASD if you're using mouse and keyboard. Shoot a laser. So you scan a planet by just going around it. Oh, there are some little enemies, some critters. You gotta take care of. Now, the, the full objective I'm not certain about yet. But we can pick this up, uh, drag to attach. All right, body increases maximum health. All right, all right, oh, that'll work. Exit build mode, so we are bigger, better, more efficient. You can also get new weapons and things. Oh, oh, oh I got something here. You can get a, a hammer, time to smash. And I can put it wherever I want, which is interesting. Okay, so I accidentally put it behind us, which is probably not ideal. It's a bit difficult for me to <laughs> maneuver. But hold on, I can change it so it's no big deal. We'll put it in the front. That's cool, actually. I like that. There we go. And I can still shoot my other thing in the meantime if I want. That's pretty interesting. I think this game was $12.99 on Steam. I don't really know how good it's going to be. I have no idea if it's worth it yet. You and I are gonna find out together, but for now we're just smashing rocks. Okay, is that it? Okay, we got some spiked armor. Hmm, blocks damage taken returns the damage. I can't put it on the front anymore. I guess I'll put it on the back for now. All right, then we go to the next level. Okay, that was 1-1. One, one. I read some of the reviews and they were very positive overall so far. I think the game came out of early access recently. Doesn't have a lot of reviews though, so it's kind of hard to say yet. All right, all right. What are these eggs? Kill them! Smash them! I like. I'm liking this hammer. I gotta say. Kills like everything instantly. Oh come on! You gotta be kidding me. All right, we gotta scan our planet here. Big box. There we go. It is controller compatible. I read, but. For something like this where I wonder maybe maybe dual joysticks would be nice with it still. Alright, alright, what do we got? We got a beam. Go that first, make sure I don't get bonked or anything. Increases maximum health. Wait, what? Alright, sure. That there. Thought it was gonna be a weapon. I guess I'm you know, I, I you know, I I'd say I'm still beaming over this though. It's definitely pretty chill. Relax. Is there anything in the, the blue ones? I don't know what these give me. What is that? Is that health? I don't know. Not sure. Bonk. Bonk. Mostly there are different game modes. Like I saw a hard on the menu. There might even be like an endless mode or something. Alright, so that one's done. Let's uh destroy this. Ooh, a sword. There we go. Slash your foes. Let's try moving the hammer and using the sword or something. All right, so it has sort of a wider, wider area of effect, but it doesn't reach as far as the hammer. It'd be pretty hard to utilize the hammer if it's not directly in front of you, I'd imagine. Requires skill. Okay, can I not destroy that? Maybe not. Sword seems pretty good though. I think it swings quite a bit faster, so. Looks like we do have like an energy bar for these things and stuff. 
All right, the map is showing some enemies this way, so that's where we're going. I gotta say, space kind of scares me. I'm kind, I'm not really interested in going to space. It's just, it's spooky, you know? You look out into the abyss and there's nothing. And I know I've probably seen too many movies, you know, just like we all have. But even like take just getting there is a hassle, you know? It's like that one building that uh, has a scary left turn to get into the parking lot and you just don't look forward to it every single time you have to go. Or the post office that only has street parking and you're just not that good at parallel parking, you know? Nobody wants to go there. Nobody wants to go to space. Maybe people want to go to space, I don't know. Bonk. Won't be catching Daddy-O in space anytime soon. I think what, what kind of did it for me, maybe? I saw that movie uh, Interstellar. And I had already seen quite a bit about space, you know, like Apollo 13 or whatever, that old school movie. But <laughs> I think Interstellar kind of did it. Store more energy? Okay, it doesn't seem like we need a lot of energy, but maybe later we will. Yeah, Interstellar. That movie's a trip, first of all. That's another hammer. Now... I can recycle it. But I guess until I get... <laughs> Alright. Oh, I wanted to try to utilize it, but it's kind of hard still. Double hammer. Can we smash planets? That'd be interesting. Is there like a boost button or something? Like something that helps my movement? Kind of in some but some keys here, but I'm not getting anything out of it. Alright, so once you just get all the planets, all the enemies appear. And I think you have to kill them before you can move on. Pretty easy so far though, so that's not bad. Yeah, interstellar, like they're caught in space for like thousands of years or what's relative to it. And then you start reading on the internet about the like light speed and space travel in general. And then it only gets worse because it's like if you, if you travel at light speed, it, you know, it feels like you arrive instantaneously at the place, but relative to wherever you came from, it's been like uh, hundreds of years or thousands of years. And then supposedly we can't even go light speed. Let's see. I think we start getting rid of some hammers or something. So let's see, what do I have to do? How do I recycle F? Gotta hold it. Do I even keep this? I'll keep it for now. Let's put a sword on the back. There we go. Oh yeah, look at that. There we go. In other words, there's like no going back. What's a solar panel do? Increases energy regeneration. I don't know how scared I should be out of that. I need a new piece of body. Uh, to get more stuff. I just don't know how that's gonna help me. Yet. Yet. Plus, you go out to space and there's nothing there. I mean, you look out at the stars and, like, that's kinda nice, I guess, but it's gonna, it's gonna get boring, you know? It's like that house you got with the view or something. You, know, you just get, you know, it just becomes kinda uninteresting after a while. I feel like these enemies are suddenly getting a little more difficult. I'm also kind of losing cohesive uh, control here. Got another beam to increase my max health. I guess I'll get rid of the spiked armor here. Not great. I don't know, sure. <laughs> I don't know if it matters if we like rotate it or not, really. All right, there we go, one four done. I didn't think I'd come into this with a lot to talk about when it came to space, but here here we are, you know. Oh, we're at a shop. I can buy... What? F to repair. 25? What? Excuse me? Refresh shop costs one thing. I can buy a piece of body. That sounds pretty good. <gasps> the saw! I 
never saw it coming. Mm. All right. Laser. That was in the tutorial. We really need a new piece of body. And don't you know? All right, so let's put that over there or something. Can I make my body longer? Maybe. And we put that there. Now, why would we rotate this? I don't fully grasp. That's okay, though. Try, try to get the laser. I'm kind of done with the hammer. The saw is probably, like, really close range or something. Oh, whoops. Hold on. Let's buy the laser. Why not? Should I rotate this? Is that a bad angle? I feel like it's facing the wrong way. All right, how do I use it? Okay, so there we go. One is that, two is laser. That's it, that's all it does. That's not bad. That's not bad, right? Oh, so that repairs like 25 health is my guess. Is what the left one does, that makes sense. Do we get to fight a boss? Are there bosses? I was kind of hoping that we'd find some bosses, you know? Boss planets and stuff. We're now in the radioactive zone of space, apparently. This is basically like, you know, the Chicago River or whatever. I'm getting at another beam. We have many beams. Sure, put it there. Put her there, pal. Ow, okay, that was a mistake. I'm glad I bought something that had some range then. Oh, I can deflect things. It's like a parry. Oh no. Okay. So armor, blocks, damage taken. Oh, I can put it on that? All right. <laughs> I don't know how much that's really gonna assist, but here we are. Oh, can you not really kill those things? Looks like you can't. Makes sense. I do wish we could go like a little faster. Maybe there are some boosts eventually. Oh no. Oh no. Escape, escape. I, I got too much into the thick of it, clearly. Oh no, we perished. That was very quick. Death came assuredly. I kind of got, you know, I don't know. I don't know if you call it greedy or just stupid, you know, just kind of went into the middle of all those enemies with my overly sized ship where they could all pounce on me. Um, but yeah, I don't really know what the end game is. Some of the reviews say, you know, you just kind of start over and play the game over and there's just, you know, it's a roguelike, so it's kind of random what gets offered, but the building aspect kind of sounds a little fun, kind of like, not Maybe like a little bit like that Sneak RX game you guys might have seen me play. All right, but I know it's short, but I, I guess like if a sneak preview, it was like twelve ninety nine on Steam. I'll probably play it a little bit more. Can't promise it's worth the price yet. It's a bit early to say that, huh? But all right, guys, like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more stuff at all from me. Please, for the love of God, for the love of Grampy at least. All right, guys, have a beautiful day, and I'll see you later. Bye bye.